hello developers welcome back to our channel today we will dive into a super important topic in react two-way data binding if you missed our last video on state management i highly recommend that you watch it first before proceeding with this one understanding state management is essential to grasping two-way data binding in react i will break down two-way data binding in simple and easy to understand terms so before we dive in please do show your support by hitting that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting react tutorials i also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook javascript a comprehensive guide from es 2015 to es 2023 your response has been truly amazing if you haven't gotten your copy yet this ebook is your one stop shop to learn everything javascript from es 2015 to the latest es 2023 features it's packed with explanations examples and best practices to help you master the language this ebook is designed for all levels so whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer you will find value in it so why wait grab your copy today from the link in the video description and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more javascript content now let's start first what is two-way data binding two-way data binding might sound fancy but it is simple concept it's like having a two-lane road where data can travel in both directions two-way data binding means when data changes in one place it updates automatically in other places let's see an example of it in the last video we have created item list components this one using class component and this one is using function component for now let's comment this item list component using class and comment this import also let's take a look at this in the browser in this component on click this add item button it adds a new item in this list right now this text is hard coded instead we want to get it from user input so first let's create a input field so in the editor let's go to the component item list component and here let's create an input field so input type text now what we want on click this button it should add the value of this input field into this item list array to achieve this we will use two-way data binding so how can we do two-way data binding in react it is super easy we can achieve two-way data binding by using react state and event handlers we need to store the input value in state with use state hook so here i'll say const i will use array destructuring so start square brackets so let's say here our state variable name is new item and the function name is going to be set new item is equal to use state and we initialize it with an empty string don't worry about these errors these errors are because of eslint the variables are declared but never used next let's put this state value in our input field so here is the input field and here i'll say value is equal to in curly brackets new item now on type in this input field we want to update this state variable new item so here we will use on change event it will call a event handler function let's say its name is handle new item input change now let's create this function so right here function handle new item input change this function going to accept event and let's console log this event so this function will be called whenever this input fields value changes so on type in this input field it will trigger this event handler function 
and this function accepts event and logs it in the console. Let's take a look in the browser. Let's open the inspect tool console. Now when we type in this input field, the event is caught and logged in the console. If we see this, here we have target and this target is this input field. So now here we can access the value of this input field using event target value. So here we can say first let's call this set new item set new item and then we can pass event dot target dot value. We get the value of input field using event target value and this set new item going to update the state value of this new item. Now as user type in this input field the on change event triggers this function which updates new item state creating a two-way data binding effect which will always be in sync with the input fields value. Let's also display the value of this new item below this input field. So in the paragraph tag value and then in curly brackets new item variable this one right here in the browser refresh let's close this as we type in this input field it updates in real time affecting changes in the component state now we have achieved two-way data binding our next goal is to add the value of this input field to the item list on clicking this button so let's implement this so in the editor on click this button it triggers add item function let's see this here in this add item it adds this text into item list array instead of this text I will pass this new item state variable so new item like this is done now in the browser refresh type new item hello and on click this button it adds this input field value into the item list array but it has not cleared this input field let's fix this also so here in this function after this updating item list let's clear this new item state variable so here we will call this set new item and then pass empty string i will also add a condition it should update these values only if new item is not empty so here i'll say if new item has values then execute these statements it's done now let's see this in the browser refresh add anything into this input field click this add item button and it is added into item list and the input field is also cleared if i click this add item nothing happened because input field is empty add mode it is added Let's add some more items. Hello, add item. It is updating the item list. Great, it is working. This is all in this video. To wrap it up, two-way data binding is like having a real-time conversation between user interface and data. I hope this video has made it all crystal clear for you. If you have enjoyed this journey through React's two-way data binding, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more react tutorials thanks for watching happy coding mm -hmm.